Hi guys, this is editorial analysis for 6th January 2017. There is just one very important editorial today that is from the Indian Express. It talks about how to deal with black money in political finance. The author gives out certain suggestions how to deal with black money in political financing. Uh, the, there are six suggestions in this one. The first one is that end cash donations to political parties that means all the donations that will be made to political parties should be either digitally uh, paid or uh, through uh, through um, checks etc not cash okay secondly the author says that currently there is no obligation to disclose the sources of contributions by political parties for up to 20000 rupees so they have no obligations uh, to reveal who made uh, a certain co contribution as long as it's 20,000 rupees. So what they do is the donors break up their offerings and thereby obscuring their fingerprints. So the recommendation is that make this threshold 2,000 rupees instead of 20,000 rupees. So almost all the contributions will become accounted for. Thirdly, the tax benefits uh, parties enjoy could be limited to above board funds. I don't know what that means, but the article says it makes this suggestion that it could be limited to above board funds. Fourthly, political parties can get their accounts audited by a private chartered accountant and they can get them to certify whatever they want. So there needs to be a third party impartial auditor. And uh, fifthly, uh, the author says that amend uh, the Representation of People Act to give the Election Commission of India the power to de-recognize the parties who flout these rules. India has currently, India has 1900 registered parties, but only 400 have contested in the recent years. Most others are basically shell parties that are operating as tax havens. And lastly, uh, there should be severe penalties on candidates who are giving out wrong information on their personal assets and liabilities before um, uh, contesting. They are supposed to give out uh, details of their personal liabilities and assets and those who are dependent on them. So uh, there should be severe penalties if they are giving out wrong or misleading information. So these are certain suggestions. Uh, in uh, the pending general current affairs that we have not done in the last 2-3 days, I will be doing them in the next video. Thank you.